One common request when building your app is you would like to be able to show a different view when the phone is in landscape mode compared to when it's in portrait. So if I rotate the phone here, you can see that in landscape, we're showing a wider image than taller because the phone is wider than it is taller. But going back to portrait, we're showing a square image. In this video, I'll show you how to build this using Android's powerful system for alternative resource files. Our initial version of the code is a very simple app which implements the full recycler view functionality in 42 lines of code. And I'll link the videos where we built this in the description. If I rotate the phone currently, there's no change in the layout that's being shown. We're seeing a square image in both portrait and landscape. Phone rotation is an example of a configuration change, and the Android system will destroy and then recreate your activity when these changes happen. That'll be the opportunity for us to load in an alternative layout file, depending on if the phone is in portrait or landscape, to change the size of the image view. We know what we're trying to do. Let's spend a bit of time understanding how to do it. If you Google for CodePath app resources, you should be able to navigate to this article. And I find that this article is way more understandable than the official Android developer documentation. So definitely check this out. And the section we're going to look at is providing alternate resources. At a high level, the problem that we're trying to solve is making sure that our app looks good across different device types. Android is an open ecosystem, which has literally thousands of different form factors. We want to make sure that our app looks good across any different screen density or screen size. And we're definitely not going to spend all the time to write a custom layout for each of the different types of phones in the world. Instead, we'll be using a powerful system from Android to use alternate resources based on specific qualifiers on the resource, such as phone size, language, density, and others. The way this works is we're going to be adding a suffix called the qualifier on the resource directory name. So you can take a look at some examples here. One of the most common qualifiers you'll find is going to be language, which you use for string resources. The actual text that the user sees, you'll want that to change if the user has their language set to English, French, Hindi, or some other language. Another common example is to use screen size. So you can check the minimum width of a screen height or width. What we're interested in is screen orientation. And so if the phone is in landscape mode, then we want to use a different layout file. This system is actually quite powerful because you can combine different qualifiers. And then there's a system for how Android will determine which of the qualifiers takes precedent. Right, going back to the code, Android Studio makes it really easy for us to create an alternate layout based on the device configuration. If you tap on this icon once you open up your layout, you'll actually have an option for create landscape variation. In the layout directory in resources, now we have two entries. One is the default and one is the landscape. And you always want to make sure you have a default just because if the Android system cannot match any of the qualifiers, it'll fall back to the default. And if there is no default, your app will actually crash. Now that we're looking at the landscape version of the layout, what we can do is just modify it as we see fit. So what, I, what I'm going to do is just simply make the width larger. So I'm going to make it double the size of the height. So let's try running this. In portrait mode, the app should look identical because we haven't modified that layout. But if we go into landscape, you can see now the space allocated for the image view is twice as big, 240 dp as opposed to 120. The issue is that the image that we're downloading from the internet is always going to be a square image. Instead, what we would like is to get an image which is twice as wide as it is tall. So that'll be the next and final step. Let's remember where the image data is coming from. And it's coming from a service called pixum.photos. If we open that URL up, you can see what the API looks like. Currently, to get a square image, we're just using something similar to this. We're specifying a width of 150 in our example. What we'd like is to specify something which has twice the width as it does height. And so instead, we'd like to do something like this. We can try this out. We want something which has twice the width. So I'm going to make it 300, 150. And now you can see that the image we get back does indeed have those dimensions. And so let's go back into the code. And I'm going to have one more property on this contact data class called landscape image URL. And we want to specify a width, which is double the height. Now we want to use this property on the contact model. The place where the image is being downloaded and shown is inside the adapter for the recycler view. So if we open up the contact adapter, 
when we bind the view holder, when we bind data to it, that's where we're actually setting all of the content, such as the name and age of the person, along with using the glide library to load an image. When the phone is in landscape mode, instead of downloading this image URL, we want to show the landscape image URL. If you go back to the code path guide and you scroll down a bit, there's actually a section here which shows you how to get the orientation programmatically from Kotlin or Java code. What we're going to do is extract out the image URL as a variable. And this is going to be a var instead of a val because we might actually change it based on the device configuration. And then we'll check using our context object, which is passed into the constructor, the configuration of the device. And in particular, we care about the orientation. And so if the orientation is landscape, then we want to update the image URL to be the landscape image URL. Let's run the app now. And we already have the phone in landscape, so we hopefully should, should see wider images now. And you can see we do see that. If we rotate the phone back to portrait, you can see square images. And then landscape, we see the wider images. As a review, what we did in this video is utilize Android system for alternate resource files in order to show a different layout which has a wider image when the phone is wider compared to when it's taller. You can see all the different options you have for different configurations. If you go into any layout and tap on create other from that same icon, you can see different qualifiers available, country code, network code. The one that we did is orientation. And you can do this for any resource. A resource is anything which is external to your Java or Kotlin code, things like strings, drawables, layouts, and so on. I hope that answers the question of how Android solves the problem of making sure that your app runs fine in phones with different languages, sizes, and so on. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.